This is Blues Brothers and I have to think about what I'm saying because it's really hard to say Blues Brothers to say it really fast. So it's Blues Brothers and it was the winner of our Patreon poll that was the best movie soundtrack movie, Blues Brothers. Now I can't say I've ever listened to any blues music. Let me just check because I don't actually know. I'm just going to Google most popular blues songs. Yeah, I don't know any of them. So I think a blues song is like a sad, emotional song. <laughs> but I guess we're going to find out. And I guess it's brothers that are, um, I think it's two brothers because that's who's on the DVD case. Um, and they sing the blues. Now I've seen a couple of comments on YouTube and you guys are like, hey, I wouldn't have picked that movie as the winner for the Patreon, whatever poll it was. Well, then you need to go to Patreon and you need to be part of the poll and then, and then you can decide what's the winner. But in the meantime, if you like this video, then please give it a great big thumbs up if you plan to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe and do everything you can to make channel grow and I will love you forever. And we are ready to play. Oh, we need to do our shout outs to our top tier patrons who are, we have David, Would You Kindly, Nathan Wolf, Robert McGregor, Adam Antis, Rudolph McGlesgate, Brian Medendorp, Calico, Jack Glenn, Anna Quad, Wayne Cryker, Robert Emmons, Les McAllister, Rob Jones, Ragnar Mertz, Alonzo Torres, Bill Bryant, A Thousandth Ghost, Roger Freeman and Eric Bonham and I did all that. <gasps> without taking a breath. This is the Blues Brothers and play. Oh, what on earth is happening here? Where are we? What, what was that about at the start? Standard release. For all three out of five, good behavior. Oh, he's going out. I thought he was coming in. Blues. Jake. Oh, their their na their last name is Blues. Oh. One unused prophylactic. One soiled. Oh, uh, was that God? <laughs> Why was it hard? <laughs> Yuck. Oh, the it's the Blues Brothers. That matters. Trey, the blues mobile for this? No, for a microphone. A microphone? The blues mobile. <laughs> oh, it's actually a still a police car. <laughs> still got the paint job. I didn't know you could buy ex police cars. I'm gonna see if that's a thing here. Promised you'd visit the penguin the day you got out. Yeah. Who the hell's the penguin? You can't lie to a nun. We gotta go in and visit the penguin. You call a nun a penguin. That's quite funny, actually. <laughs> I thought we were gonna see Batman's penguin. Who is it? Jake and Elwood. El Elwood? Is that a name? Elwood. Don't think I've ever heard that name before. Five grand, no problem. We'll have it for you in the morning. I will not take your filthy stolen money. Well, just don't tell her it's stolen. Guess you're really up shit creek. Oh, I beg your pardon, what did you say? He said shit. Take it easy, man. Oh, Lord. Ow! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Just stop talking. <gasps> what does she have Lord. now? An actual whip! She's stuck in the chair! Till you've redeemed yourselves. And she's just gonna float away. So she raised you two. Boys? You gotta learn not to talk to nuns that way. Who the hell's this? Curtis, you and the penguin are the only family we got. You're the only one that was ever good to us. I can't see what any of them look like with their glasses on. I need to see your eyes. I don't want to listen to no jive-ass preacher talking to me about heaven and hell. You get wise, you get to church. So I guess he was in prison for stealing then. I don't remember if it said. I said when I woke up this morning, I heard a disturbing sound. What was that? What's the sound? Hey, if church was like that here, I would go every Sunday. I would go every day. Are you all right? He's catching the gospel fever. <laughs> the 
I just, I just seen a movie mistake. Jake and Ellie were dancing like this, and then it cut to all of these guys. But you could see them standing like this at the back, being miserable. And then it cut back to Jake and Elwood and they were dancing again. Woohoo! Yeah, bring me a church like this one. Put the band back together, do a few gigs, we get some bread, bang! What kind of band did you have? You said you were, you were keeping in touch with them. What was I gonna do? Take away your only hope? So you lied. God damn it, man, I haven't been pulled over in six months. Six months? You shouldn't be getting pulled over at all. Fifty-six? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What are you gonna do? You can't go to jail if you're just about to start your band again. <laughs> you can't outrun them forever. You're gonna put me right back in the joint. They're not gonna catch us. We're on a mission from God. Why does Elwood speak like a robot? It'll be alright if we can just get back on the expressway. I haven't seen a Toys R Us in years. You want out of this parking lot? Okay, they c could have killed a lot of people. Lots of space in this mall. Holy crap. This is a hell of a lot of mess you guys are causing. <laughs> Jesus. I dread to even think how much that would cost to fix everything. Uh, what the hell do you have? Why? <laughs> Why is she targeting them to? What did they do to you? That didn't have the impact I thought it would. It did nothing. I thought there was going to be huge explosions. Are you not, are you not even going to talk about it? <laughs> it's cute. I guess you two are used to it. Often does a train go by. So often you won't even notice it. More often than not. Oh, I love the crackle of a record playing. Yeah, thanks for your help, Mr. Mercer. You know, I kind of like the Wrigley Field bit. Oh, hey! That is John. John Candy. I always get him mixed up with John Goodman. That's John Candy. What did you do? That's what I expected from the first gun. Holy crap. What did you two do? It's almost nine o'clock. We've got to go to work. <laughs> They're not even faced. Thank you. That was rubbish. Steve the Colonel Cropper, Donald Duck Dunn, Willie Too Big Hall, and Tom. Willie Too Big. <laughs> you were the backbone of a great rhythm and blues band. Which one? All of them. At least we got a change in clothes, sucker. You wearing the same shit you had on three years ago. Yeah, but I like it. If it's not broken, don't fix it. He opened a soul food restaurant with his old lady on Maxwell Street, and he took Blue Lou with him. You'll never... Blue Lou? Blue Lou is from True <laughs> We got an understanding. We're on a mission from God. He's on a mission from God. Wait, you guys can't come in here. What does he do? Nonsense, my dear. Is fellow. he the singer? My brother and I have come to dine. <laughs> I hope Mr. Fabulous knows that you're not going to pay. On you're going to. Oh, that's what you're going to do. You're not going to pay. You get him. Going to get him in the shit. You're going to get fired. And then he'll have to join the band. Food is really expensive. The soup is f***ing $10. Come on, let's go outside. I'll buy you a couple. Oh, that's not that bad. <laughs> not anymore. 
We'd like to move to another table, away from those two gentlemen. Those are some chunky shrimp. Smelling. I mean, they smell bad. Oh, do they? Like they haven't showered or just really bad perfume? I'm here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day of the week. Okay, okay, I'll play. You got me. I knew it. I knew it would happen. Sir! <laughs> Sir! Sir! He looks like that guy Elliot from True Romance. I've got that movie stuck in my head. I hate Illinois Nazis. What are you going to do about it? Oh, he's going to run them all over. He's actually going to run them all over. Plate number. We're gonna kill that son of a bitch. We're too late. He's away. He's off. Oh, how, how. Yay, hey. Do you know how this is gonna end? It's gonna end with so many people are chasing them, and then at the very end, they're going to the band will be back together, and then they'll play, and then everyone will watch them play, and then they'll all just start dancing and singing along and being like, okay, we're not after them anymore. Can't take it like that. <laughs> How, 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 how. Is this one of your guys? I hope so. He's got a beautiful voice. I'll have some toasted white bread, please. <laughs> so toast? Bring me four fried chickens and a Coke. The, what, whole chickens? Wings or chicken legs. Four fried chickens and a Coke. Whole chickens? And some dry white toast, please. Dry white. You all want anything to drink with that? You guys are nuts. A blues brothers. They still owe you money, fool. They owe everyone money. Freedom, 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 <laughs> freedom, freedom, freedom. Jake and <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sing about a beat. What's that to me? that for nothing he's still going well go ahead damn it <laughs> now she's gonna be after them curl up and die <laughs> amazing I think she's the biggest nutter in the whole movie. I need to figure out who she is too, because I feel like I know her. Let's just let's just find out who everyone is in this movie. Oh, was that Aretha Franklin? Oops, I didn't know that. Saws. I did not know that. It is! It's Princess Leah. I thought it was her. Now, may I help you? Ray, it's me, Juliet Jake. Is that Ray Charles? If that's Ray Charles, I know him. That's the best in the city of Chicago. How much? 2,000 bucks and it's yours. 2,000? That seems a lot. I mean, really, Ray, it's used. There's, there's no action left in this keyboard. He's a bit show, yeah. Hello, Luke, Bend over, let me see you. <laughs> My grand, I used to dance to this song. Come on, baby. All right. Do it. Like this. Oh, my knee. I'm still having knee pain. Make a shake, a shake, a shake, a baby. Oh, I'm knackered now. That's enough, I think. Oh, we'll wait till the next song. You said we were going to make a call. I said I was going to make a call. Who are you going to call, Jake? He just said, who are you going to call? And I think that's the Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call, Ghostbusters? And he's in the Ghostbusters. Why, do, why don't you stick around to see if you actually get them? Hey, Jake. There's got to be at least $7 worth of change here. I think you need more than $7. We're the band. We're the band. What kind of music do you usually have here? What about the real band? Oh, we got both kinds. We got country and western. <laughs> J. 
Jake, are you sure this is the place? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure, this is the place. You're just gonna have to mix it up a bit. I can't wait to hear you. Why are you in a cage? Chicken wire? Yeah, what's that for? What's that to prevent? They don't like it. Well, it's a good job that chicken wire's there. You're gonna have to play some country. <laughs> Jake's not doing anything. I love Move him on. Hit him up. Hit him up. <laughs> oh, I love this place. Have you got another one? Because they're, they're going to want more. <laughs> Give him two arms to cling to. Aww. All the love you can. Oh, that's such an emotional song. Your man. Yay! Well done, you guys. More? Do you have more? And you boys drank $300 worth of beer. You know, beer was like complimentary for the band, you know? Oh. $300 worth of beer. My brother's writing out an American Express traveler's check. With a pencil. <laughs> a pencil? Checks have to be written in pen. Oh, God. We're the good old boys. You're the good old boys. <sighs> that's, that's more people after you then. Just keep it coming. I'm rather enjoying this. Don't fail me now! <laughs> see you next Wednesday. What's the See You Next Wednesday movie? Don't you guys ever wear blue jeans or jumpsuits like uh, like Wayne Cochran and the CC Riders? No, because that's not their style. How's Mrs. Sline? S I might have some information she'd like to know. Sline. I thought it was slime, which would be more fitting. You get us to Hall Mori and I guarantee we'll pack them in for miles around. What do you say? How can you guarantee that? You guys are gonna gross dollar one. I want to taste it again. <laughs> Where did all you guys go from? <laughs> you were sitting there very quietly. Oh yeah, they are going to fill the place, aren't they? They'll probably fill the place half of people that's chasing them. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one way to get everyone's attention. Maybe we could say, uh, meet around, uh, midnight. I'll think about it, Elwood, okay? Ooh! Son of a bitch! Come on! Well, how long is it going to take for you guys to get there? They've actually filled the place. You can't quit now. What can they be doing? They're on the way! Where are you parked? Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> Very clever. There's two seats there. You haven't filled it. Hit it! Ooh, look at you. Hi -hi 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 -ho. Nice one. He's warming them up for you guys. What is that glue? I wish I could do that whistle where you go like this. I've never even heard these boys sing. All right? All right. They're not going no place. Told you. They're going to hear them play and then they'll be like, okay. I'll let you off with a warning. Who wants an orange whip? Orange whip? What the hell's an orange whip? It sounds gross. <laughs> that is a tough crowd. I want to do a dance like that. <laughs> I would try, but I can't. With my knee. Everybody needs somebody. Yeah, oh, my seat moves like that. My ass is doing that. 
Yeah, yeah, I need you. I need to, I need to stop. But I see how to hate you. He's a fan. <laughs> Here's ten thousand dollars in advance on your first recording session. Does it really work like that? You need a contract or something. Fourteen hundred dollars. Give it to Ray's Music Exchange in Calumet City. Give the rest of the band. Did you take the money for? Oh no! Wait, how much did you have? Ten grand. You need to give money to the penguin. You can do the leg thing. I can't do the. Leg. Way she's back. No way you can hear that. How would she still miss them? My grandmother, my father, my uncle, and for the common good, I must now kill you and your brother. Why? Why? He did nothing. It wasn't my fault, I swear to God! What actually happened? What's the truth? <gasps> I see his eyes! Jay, honey. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh god, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Maybe you should have just let it go. It's not good to hold a grudge. Oh wow, she's waiting. She's actually waiting. I gotta pull over. Southbound on State Highway 47. Dude, Vicky's sleeping in front of her. For God's sake! Um, we're in a truck! <laughs> we're in a truck! <laughs> I don't think you need that many police cars. Like, three would be fine. It's like when you play GTA, whoa! <laughs> Whose car flipped? Oh, it wasn't theirs. The motor, we've thrown a rod. Is that serious? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. What the hell was that? What? <laughs> Whoa! Holy crap! Although I think that is exactly what would happen. It would go right through the ground. Hut, 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 hut! I wonder what it's like. There's absolutely nothing in in their head right now, is there? They're, they're just nothing. What did they even do? It was just a, it was just over a um, speeding ticket. No, a red light ticket. This is brilliant. It's actually brilliant. I used to do that all the time in, in my teens. But do you know that it can come back and explode in your face? That's why I stopped when I learned that. <laughs> this money is for the year's assessment on the St. Helena of the Blessed Shroud Orphanage in Calumet City, Illinois. Imagine she was lying. She didn't even need the money. She was just went in the five grand. The tax man's going to be like, she's not doing anything. She was thieving from you, thieving penguin. <laughs> Yay! On the whole block, whole to the Why was the whole band arrested? What did they do? Yeah, 
James Brown? Yeah, you can't see the part they use a wood chair. Let's talk. That is Ray Charles. I know him. Well, that's another trip you love, right? Yeah. Oh. Steve Cropper. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't know any of you guys. Everybody at the hotel park. Yay! Awesome. <laughs> that was amazing. Everybody. But that's why I listen to this song. Everybody. Everybody. Need somebody to love. Na, 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 Okay, I'm gonna give myself a hernia, so let's stop there. I need you, you, you. I need you, you, you. These songs are gonna be stuck in my head all day, but it is fine because it's good songs. I don't like it when I have a really crappy song stuck in my head. These are fine. I think that needs to get like best movie that got me moving movie ever. <laughs> Cause I don't think I've danced so much ever in a movie ever or even just in general ever that was a lot a lot of fun it was very funny very silly and, and a lot of fun which is what we like we can't have serious movies all the time or even ever <laughs> who wants a serious movie when we can have one like this i felt like at the very very start this wasn't i wasn't going to be enjoying it I, d I felt like I wasn't feeling it at the very, very start. And then I got into it and then I really got into it. And then I was like, yeah, this is this is going to be a movie. How come every movie is in Chicago or near Chicago? It's always Chicago. And what was that weird bit at the start? If it looked like it was the end of the world. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what happened there? I can't imagine a boy enjoy oh no wait i can i was thinking before the big car chase that i couldn't imagine any boys enjoying this movie but then we had the car chase so that's why boys like a car chase the car chase was on the verge of being too long and boring but it was fine and i quite enjoyed it i also quite enjoyed the different views that we were seeing like the the being inside the car and then watching the car and then watching all the millions of cars that were chasing them, which was quite hilarious. I also picked up on a few shots that were like details of, I don't know what they would be called. So it would be like an in-between shot of what was happening. Like for example, when the bridge was going up at the beginning and it was showing the cogs turning, the oily cogs turning, just for a couple seconds, which I didn't think was necessary, but I kind of liked it. I liked all the different angles, the different views and the different type of shots all put together. It was a very well done movie, I thought. The music was obviously amazing or else I would have just been sitting here like this. I am not singing, I am not dancing, the music is crap, but I very much enjoyed it. It reminded me a lot of my granddad, because that would be the music he would listen to and boogie along to. They're certainly not the best singers or dancers, or did they play any instruments? I don't think they did. I think they were just the vocalists, um, but they definitely knew how to entertain. They were performers and that's what we like to see. We don't want to see perfection. We want to see entertainment and that's that's it. There's no more to say about that. <laughs> that is what that is what the human kind human cr kind cr kind craves is to be entertained. And I was certainly entertained. We didn't get to see Elwood's eyes. We got to see Jake's, but I really wanted to see Elwood's. It would have been it would have been nice if both of them did a, the glasses off at the end. Maybe we'll get to see that in the second one. But I, they must be in prison in the second one because no way they're going to get let out after all that carry on. I did not expect to see so much destruction throughout the full movie. Yeah, from the very very beginning as soon as Princess Leia tried to kill them in the she had the rocket launcher. Yeah. It was from the beginning. So much, so many. There was the all the cars 
how many cars did they go through for this movie? Was it all real cars? Because that's a, that's an expense. That's a big, big expense. Who decided, do you know what we need? We need more cars. <laughs> we, need, we need to destroy more cars. I don't care the budget. We just need more cars. And then there was the mall, the massive mall place. And then there was um, Elwood's house, probably a hell of a lot more as well. It was just a mess. There was mess everywhere. And it, it, I loved it. It was a lot of chaos, but it didn't feel chaos. It didn't feel chaotic to me watching. I didn't feel that. Sometimes I get that feeling like of anxiety, like, oh, I, I, I hate this. It's too much. It's a, it's a lot of noise and a lot of things to see. I didn't feel like that. I felt chilled. Probably because the Blues Brothers, they were chilled the whole way through the movie and it rubbed off. I think every man and his dog was there at the end of the movie ready to arrest the Blues Brothers for going through a red light. That's all it was. And then they couldn't... Was it? There wasn't anything else. Well, they didn't pay their beer, but the police weren't involved in that. We had tanks. There was bloody tanks and helicopters. And it was just just madness, absolute madness. It was like watching a Monty Python movie. I want to know where I can go to find a bar like, what was it called even? Bob's Country Bunker. That place looked amazing. And it was very cozy. And I like a cozy bar. And that's what I would enjoy. So please tell me where I would find one of those. Story time. I went to see the band Kings of Leon twice. I've been seeing them twice. And it was like one year and then the next year. The first year they came to Edinburgh. And they, I heard, I can't remember if it was an official statement, but I did hear that they decided never to come back to Edinburgh again after the way the crowd were. Because, now I, I was there, so I saw this. Everyone was throwing their drinks on the stage and at them which is that's shitty enough but all the people that were at the front couldn't get out of the front so they couldn't go to the toilet so they were throwing toilet things at <laughs> at them so I believe that is why they decided not to come back to Edinburgh. And it reminded me of that when I was watching that scene when they were playing in the Bob's Country Bunker when everyone was getting, everyone was throwing everything at them. And it was hilarious. But they had the chicken wire to protect them. Kings of Leon did not have the chicken wire. So then they said, they were like, right, we're never coming back to Edinburgh. Next year, we'll come to Scotland, we'll go to Glasgow. And then I was like... <laughs> I don't think that's a good choice. So they did, but they did. They came back to Glasgow, and it was in a big park, and it was even it was better. I was like, no, you're not, you're not making the right choice there. But they did, and it was better. But then they decided not to come back again, and I don't think they've been back since. The rowdy life is not for them. Also, being attacked by people's piss is not for them. I'm going to go and see if I can find if if we can buy ex police cars because I think that would be. Would it be? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna search it and see see what Google comes up with. So there we go. That was our winner for our best movie soundtrack poll. And I I can't I can't say because I didn't watch any of the other ones, but I am agreeing that it was the poll winner because the music was just the best. And it was just the best. That's it. That's all I have to say. It, even like, even the background music and it, yeah, I, I, do you know what? The one thing I would complain about is I would like to have seen them play more. More songs, more of the Blues Brothers, more of the band, more. But I then, I'm going into it being more of a girls movie because if it was all about the singing and the playing and the dancing and the performing, the boys wouldn't like it as much. So you have to have all of that extra crap. <laughs> and that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Oh, if you liked the video, then please like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And post notifications, comment, do all that fun stuff to my channel grow and I will love you forever. Also check out Patreon, there's lots on there and there's lots of ways that you can support the channel more. That helps me a lot, helps the channel a lot. And I will, and I will again, love you forever. And I am off. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mwah. Oh, oh, oh.